The presentation is brought to you by the Geospatial Analysis Lab at the University of San Francisco, as well as Madison Juleson and Olivia Silverstein. We will be exploring the question of where should the next navigation center in San Francisco go? Navigation centers in San Francisco are a very hot topic. Recent legislation has defined them as providing temporary room and board with limited barriers to entry, while case managers work to connect homeless individuals and families to income, public benefits, health services, permanent housing, or shelter. In 2017, it was estimated that 7,500 individuals were defined as experiencing homelessness and 4,400 people living unsheltered. All data was collected from datasf.gov, except for navigation centers, which we compiled in Excel ourselves. Methods. The intended products of our research and work in ArcMap were three maps that help us to explain where the hot spots of encampment clusters are, as well as the distances around the navigation centers and the reach that they have. We also chose a new spot for a navigation center and put buffers around it and the other centers to show the new and further reach that adding a center would have. Our study area is the city and county of San Francisco. We started by adding our 311 call data, filtered to only include encampment related calls. This data was only from 2018 to 2019, and we aggregated it by 30 feet and then used the integrate tool to prepare for the hotspot analysis. Next, we completed a hotspot analysis using the Geddes Ord GI tool at a distance band of 2000. And we also created a smooth layout to show the hotspot layer as a smooth surface using the IDW tool with an input feature of the aggregated 311 hotspot calls and a Z field of the GIZ score. After that, we added the current navigation center and pit stops layer to show the relationship between the points of the two layers and the hotspot of the encampment related 311 calls. Next, we added buffers of 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2.5 miles using the multi-buffer tool around the navigation centers to see the reach of the centers. We decided on a location for a new navigation center based on the areas that the buffers did not reach in relation to the largest spot of the calls. Finally, we added the same buffers again, but this time including our proposed navigation center to show the new reach that the centers would have, including the proposed center. This is a visual of our geoprocessing steps and analytical elements and outputs. Results and conclusions. We added our proposed navigation center to the location that we did because that is the area of San Francisco that is semi-close yet outside of the two-mile buffer, which is far for someone to travel on public transit. By adding the new center, there would be a greater reach of services to the navigation centers. Our hotspot analysis shows that all the navigation centers are within our hotspot analysis. We decided to put our proposed navigation center outside of the hotspot for a few different reasons. First off, while the majority of homeless concerns fall within the hotspot, this does not mean that homeless individuals do not live outside of the hotspot, and all individuals should have access to services. Second, the placement of the navigation centers and the correlation to the homeless population has us wondering if they affect each other. Does the majority of the homeless population reside in the area because they're drawn in by the available services? Or is it the reverse and where the navigation center is placed in response to the large population in the area? Moving forward, it would be interesting to see if there was a navigation center every half mile from any location in San Francisco, would the homeless population disperse more evenly across the city? Thanks Thank for watching! <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.